This is a safe space. Do you hear my chat? What? The very same person who's going to make you look like a clown. The very same person who's going to make you look like a Popeye tomorrow. I get doing nice things for people, for men. <sighs> Why do you do that to people? People who are hot and cold. God, I don't know what season I'm going into every single time I'm communicating with you. One minute to winter, one minute to summer. Ow. You're joking with my heart. I'm a clown to you? I'm a circus? Give me the gas camo. Okay. Oh, Maria, way. Because the only person that makes sense and is perfect to me is Jesus. It's Jesus. Le Maria, maybe, hey. Even Joseph wasn't perfect. Joseph, Joseph moved mad, hey. You don't have to be kind. Sometimes you gotta be mean to be kind. Sometimes you must burn the house down. Oh, hey, babe. Hi, ish, baby. Yo, baby. Yo. And then I neck rosary. That comes 2000. What? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is me, it is Gadleo Malela. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for choosing me over and over again, as I do say, thank you so, so much. I do appreciate it. If you want us to get to 40,000 subscribers, I know I do, by the end of the year, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, like the video. Also maybe join the membership space if you want extra more bonus content but I'm really really excited about this part of the video because this is a second part of the first video which is a candidly real kind of series so it's a mixture of candid with cat and also a mixture of real talk because this is a safe space do you hear my chat this is a safe haven for us to actually express some of our toxic traits. And in the previous video, I actually expressed some of my toxic traits and I shared them. Got a little bit emotional in that video, but it's fine. It's fine. This is a safe haven. We're good. So we're all friends here. We're all friends here. Okay. Um, so in this one, this is really exciting because I'm going to be reading some of your toxic traits along with sharing some of the toxic traits that I see in other people that I do not like. Like I said in the first video, I shared my personal toxic traits, but in this one, I'm sharing some toxic traits that I see in others that I do not like while at the same time reading some of yours and judging you. Hey, Anna. Oh. Hey, Anna. Yes. Yes, Kyo Jaja. Kyo Jaja. I'm going to be judging you because Kyo Jaja is going to be judging you every day here on this, on this streaming site. Like, you can see, it's going to be every day here on this YouTube. So, Linda, today, it's my chance to judge you. If you want to uh, see and watch this video, definitely do keep watching. And if you enjoy it at the end, definitely do like the video, subscribe, and watch all the ads. I really do appreciate it. Let's get into some of your toxic traits. And I'll share some of the ones that I don't like, that I see in others. Okay, let's get into it. So I put up a little tab on Instagram as I always do. I said that I'm going to be filming a Candid with Cat and I would like people to share some of their toxic traits. I did it as well on the community tab on YouTube. And man, some people came through. Some of them were crazy. Some of them were crazy. Some of, Luna sometimes, as it is, as a team Zala, because some of your toxic traits, are they even traits? Kuri, kuri, in alabo. It's third, it's third, in alabo sataninyana. Kahari, toxic trait there how. Yes, your toxic trait has a little bit of evil in it. And, and like, like, you know, like evil, evil. Le sele luna. And a khalikele jota gholuna hale sharp. 
The first lady says, my toxic trait is not registering what a person does to me. Things always click later on. It could be years later when it registers in my head. I cut ties with people. Some would think that we are okay. And then out of the blue, I cut them off due to what they did two years. Ah! Ah, eh, man. Ah, eh, man. Ah, eh, man. Ah, eh. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, say the hair, when. Oh, say the hair. Just because when your mind is slow to registering, now all of a sudden, look at them two years later when they've got no idea what it is that they did to you. That's mean, bro. But I hear the chat. <laughs> I hear the chat. I hear the chat. Sometimes, you know, your moment of revelations. Yeah, Your moment of revelation happens to be two years later and shame, you're going to cut somebody off. But the thing is, there's no prior indication. Why did you not prior, you know, prior to that, why did you not indicate prior to you, <laughs> prior, you know, prior to you, Cutting that person off. Why didn't you give them some kind of indication that, hey, bro, it's going south, hey? Ah, uh, bro, it's going south, hey? But I hear your chat. I hear your chat. I think the way that I would agree with this is that I, I get in denial as well in terms of registering what a person does to me. And I typically am just like, oh, you know what, it's... It's not that big of a deal. And then I realize afterwards, not two years later, Girl, you gotta get yourself something. You better move somewhere. You better go somewhere with that behavior, please. Please. This other lady says, pretending to be angry while laughing at my screen. Evil. You see what I'm saying, Huru? Luna? Luna? Yo, Palesa. Palesa Halaluka. That's not her name. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, y'all are not good people. You're not good people. Ah, is this is this how you behave? Hmm? Pretending that you're angry, meanwhile you're laughing at someone's expense. That person has become a Popeye to you. They're a clown. Yes. They're a clown. But then you're showing them that, oh, I'm angry, I'm angry. But then you laugh, oh, that's so sadistic. I love it for you. No, I don't. Just don't do that. <laughs> that's mean. <laughs> that's mean, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. What? This other lady says, I don't know how to let people go. That's my toxic trait. No matter how badly they treated me, I always feel like working on it though. I always see the best in someone until they show me the absolute worst. This is something I mentioned in my toxic trait video, the first one. That's why I highly suggest that you watch that one before you watch this one. I absolutely agree with her. I will absolutely see everything good in somebody and it'll be at the very last minute that I will choose to finally open my eyes and see the worst in them. That's so true. And it's so unhealthy. It's so unhealthy. Just see them for what they are right from the beginning, right? Uh, and I also struggle to let people go as well. It becomes this really huge thing where I'm just like, mm, mm, do I have to? We can fix it because I'm a fixer. Toxic trait of mine. I've got the savior complex. I have this fixing complex where I feel like I constantly need to be fixing or saving situations or people. And that's not okay. That's not okay. That's not okay. Okay. I, I, mm -mm. all right. This lady says, hi, cat. I think, hey girl, I think that I'm always right. And sometimes act like I'm perfect. You know what? This is real. Keep saying that. That's great. Keep saying that. Just keep saying it. Keep saying it out loud. You are real. I'm, and, and you know I'm going to appreciate you because not many people would have the gumption, the balls. Yeah, I understand. They, they, they would not have the gumption to actually say third. They would never have the gumption to actually say that out loud. To actually say that I think I'm always right. And there's many people who think they're always right. Well, newsflash, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Somebody's always going to come in at some point, not all the time. You might be right, maybe at a rate. But 63.67% of the time, you might be right, uh, but it's not all the time. Yeah, I'm here to call you out. Absolutely not. Okay. And, and the business of you thinking that you're perfect. Yeah. Hi. Oh, Maria, wait. Because the only person that makes sense and is perfect to me is Jesus. It's Jesus. Le Maria, maybe, hey. Even Joseph wasn't perfect. Joseph, Joseph moved mad, hey. <laughs> In some instances, he kind of moved mad. God is going to punish me. But this is honest and that's real and I appreciate you for it. But I say what I say. Sana, this lady says. Sana, once we date, I see marriage. Okay, let me finish. Let me finish. Hmm. We got a Delulu was the Salulu. Okay. Sana, once we date, I see marriage kids and uncles at my gate. I cannot slow down. Girl, if ever there was somebody more Delulu in life, you have just proved yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think you put so much pressure on yourself. Delulu is not always the Salulu here. Okay? Okay? The Lulu is not always the Salulu. Find yourself, okay? And realize, her, mm -mm, mm -mm. this doesn't always apply at all times. You hear my chat? This is not going to apply at all times. No, uh, baby girl, no. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? Don't do that. Don't do that. No. Go away. That's all one at home. Yeah? Or when at your home, you're seeing these little terrorists, these little demons running around your house. Huh? You got kids, you got a husband and stuff. Get it together. Men are not good people. Okay. Get it together. And the, the day you start realizing that you must dissenter, dissenter this Delulu way of thinking. You're going to be all right. But guess what? This one, lose it. Lose it. Men are not the hill. They're not. They're not good people. You know that. I tell you guys this all the time. Why? Men are not the hill we should be wanting to die on. Decent about wow. I can plan. <laughs> this is evil. I can plan a trip knowing very well that and easy. How? How do you do that? Not only to yourself. But imagine planning this trip with other people. How do you do that? That's so mean, bro. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean. Ah, that's so mean. No, man, I, I, what a waste of time. You know what I mean? What a waste of Google. What a waste of energy, minutes, and hours. Busy planning this trip. And if I were your friend, and you plan this trip only to then say at the 11th hour that you're not coming? It's, what? See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. So you will catch these hands. I don't fight. I don't condone fighting. But you will catch this mouth. This mouth will be ready. Wait. This person says, I'm a people pleaser and it's both draining and absolutely satisfying. This is what I said. I wish if this can happen each and every after two weeks or a monthly. This is what I said in my previous video that it's, it's also comes across as very selfish and you, you, you do this people pleasing from a place where you want people to like you. You want people to look at you and think, oh my gosh, she's absolutely amazing. Whatever. That's the satisfying parts, my babe. 
in album Naskaskas Gim, I know that people use narcissism a lot and it's a very trendy word and sometimes people don't use it in the right aspect or in the right construction, okay? But in this instance, and I agreed and I mentioned it in my video as well, it's got it a Naskaskasgum trait. Yeah, man, it's, it's falling in there. We're not saying you're a Naskaskastic. Yeah, man, we're not saying you're narcissistic. However, we're saying that it's got a bit of narcissism just sprinkled in there. Because why do you find people pleasing satisfying? Yeah, it's draining, absolutely. Satisfying? I hear the chat. Y'all are honest and I like that about you. My toxic trait is being absolutely too kind. So extra that people walk all over me and I... Ah! <laughs> Whoa. Before I get on to the next part she mentioned, she said my toxic trait is being too kind. Extra, so extra that people walk all over me. Sometimes, not all the time, not as much as they used to, but I can relate. And it is a toxic trait. You don't have to be kind. Sometimes you gotta be mean to be kind. Sometimes you must burn the house down. Do you want me to bring the receipts? Do I need to bring the receipts, oh, baby girl? Because no. I got receipts. Show them flames. Show them flames. The moment they think, oh, oh, I can call her, I can call Katleo, because I know Katleo is always going to be like, no, no, it's fine. I can do it. Katleo's kind, whatever. Sometimes over long, eh? No, not today. Not today. Nah. Not feeling it, not today. Show them the, that is not a part of you anymore. Don't get excited. Oh, please don't get excited at my expense. Shake shit up a little bit. That's what I'm saying. And then she goes on and she absolutely takes the L for the women. And she says, and she says, I take care of guys financially. Ha! Nah. Why would you do that to yourself? Well, take a care of what? The very same person also shia Sasa. Oh, okay. Ah, what no man. Ah, eh. Oh, what? What? The very same person who's going to make you look like a clown. The very same person is going to make you look like a Popeye tomorrow. Now you want to go and take care of them financially. How that you have worked so hard for. The money that you've worked so hard for. I get doing nice things for people. For men. <laughs> I get doing nice things for men. I get it. I absolutely get it. But taking care of them. Hey, ten thousand k just so that they can buy tires for their car. Uh, absolutely not. Get yourself to get wake up. Get yourself together. You don't do that. Not for men. Please, man. Be nice, sure, here and there. But taking care of them financially, could you imagine? Oh hey, babe. Hi, ish baby, yo, baby, yo. And in a neck rosary. That comes 2000, what? <laughs> Could never. Get yourself together. Oh, it's a yuck. Okay, let me, let me mention some of mine, okay? The things that, the toxic traits that I pick up very quickly in people that I absolutely do not like. And after I see it, I cut it. I cut it, okay? Sharp. Shall we get started? Sharp, okay? <sighs> Playing victim. Yes, sus. Yes, sus. Otwa, if you are going to always play victim, so much so that you make me feel guilty and you do not acknowledge 
and be accountable for your behavior in this mess? Done. If you're gonna... Yo, I'm so sick and tired of people who play victim. Life is too short for you to be playing victim. We've got things to do. We've got people to see. We've got places to be at. Why are you sitting here playing victim? For who? So that I can feel guilty for your behavior? Absolutely not. Catch me, hunter the are. Palesa. Catch me, hunter the are. No, no. Mm -mm. Dineo, get yourself together, man. Please, man. Okay, okay. People who struggle to communicate. And I'm gonna put in a disclaimer here. <laughs> because we all have avenues, aspects in our lives where we might struggle a little bit to communicate. But people who struggle to do the absolute bare minimum, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I cannot, I... You can catch me two streets away. How to be boa? Also, like in the bare minimum of you just open your mouth and speak. Yes, I understand that there are certain things that people struggle to communicate on based on maybe how you're feeling, based on maybe how you grew up, you know, toxic things, traumas that make you struggle to communicate even as an adult. But the bare minimum. Awa, awa, smusis. Mm mm. Mm mm. Hey, 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 tepang, tebo. Never, never. You could catch me two streets away. If you struggle to absolutely do the bare minimum when it comes to communicating, I get sharp. I get sharp. I get sharp, woman. I get sharp. I would rather go get hunter the are. I would rather go get hunter the are and communicate in the are. If you can't, awa. Ugh, no. You no. know another toxic trait for me: hot and cold. Yeah, Ibon. Yeah, Ibon. One day with you, I'm in the tropics. I'm at the equator. I'm burning, hot. Everything about you is hot. You are hot. You are present. You are in the moment. Five minutes later, you're cold. Ugh. Why? Why do you do that to people? People who are hot and cold. God, I don't know what season I'm going into every single time I'm communicating with you. One minute to winter, one minute to summer. Ow. Ow. Uh-uh. One minute winter, one minute summer. Every single time I'm communicating with you, I don't know what I'm going to get. Because when I do jiggy jiggy your tea, the next day, oh, 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 savannah. Oh, oh, get out of here. I just, yo, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. If you're hot, continue your hot throughout this. Be cold another day. Okay? And, and let there be reasonings as to why you're cold. But when I don't even know what made you cold, now all of a sudden I come into the picture and I went out ice pathway of something that I didn't even cause. I don't even know why you're an ice bath. Deep woo. So freaking stand you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Am I kidding? Am I getting a little bit too hyped up? These are certain things. These are very, very personal things that I see in people. I'm just like, I ain't finna deal with you like this. I'm not doing this with you. Today, today, on Twerk Offside. And I'm going to tell you salad. Yeah, man? Yeah, man? Yeah, yeah. A toxic trait of mine, when you play hard to get, I bounce. Sure. Sure. I get it. I don't even think that's toxic. I, like, once you get to a certain age, a certain place in your life, and especially in your adulting life. I don't know, man. 
this business out, we're going to be uh, playing hard to get. Oh my God, yeah, we can go out. Yeah, love it. Love it so much. Then tomorrow, you're not answering my calls. Meanwhile, yesterday, we were grand. We were happy. Yeah? Then you don't answer my calls today. Right? Then the next day, you're like, ah, oh, but why aren't you calling me? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Get it together. I'm with, I'm with this person. Yeah, I'm with this person. It's a gent. It's a gent. <laughs> I'm with him. I'm with him, okay? Um. <laughs> My toxic trait is when I'm losing the fight, I cry. I'm just tired. What, what is this? Trying to win brownie points over me? Because the moment you start crying, I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop, right? And that's a toxic trait because that's, that's, that's victim mentality. That's villain behavior. Stop that. You cry. I cry, but not necessarily when I'm losing the fight. Snots and everything. That's, that's what she says. Snots and everything. And then I apologize or crack a joke. Absolutely not. You always do go when I do satan in two weeks. Say it louder. Let's say that you cry. Why do you cry, bro? No, no. Then you come back and you crack a joke. It's, am I a joke to you? Am I a clown to you? Do you see Popeye written on my face? For you to then cry, then, then, then make me feel bad that you cry, and then to come back and make a joke? Do I look like a clown to you? Jesus. This person says passive aggressiveness. Ooh. Ooh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, I hate it. That shit is crazy. I, I don't I, I really don't like that guy. Nizo Eta Hooray! Before I state what's eating me. <laughs> Why must you act up? Before having to just state, just talk about what's bothering you, bro. Why, 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 why must you give me kuru wang ektela wang swankela? Listen here, this is not generations. Okay? This is not generations. Eh? This is not scandal. Ah, oh, man. Why, why must you act? Just tell me what the problem is and so we can get to the bottom of it. Usega gewen. When I ulunganga gewen. This lady says, this lady says, give <laughs> Bozai a silent treatment. So she's basically saying she's number one with silent treatment. I hate that. Ooh. And I think it's what I mentioned in one of my toxic traits that as well that I see in people that I can't absolutely stand. Silent treatment is a form of abuse. Yeah, if you are doing it to manipulate the situation, if you are doing it to control somebody, maybe bring them down to size, maybe you feel like, yeah, when I'm so bonisa, when it's manipulative, or sail away. <laughs> sail. I can't stand it. Even in other people, I cannot stand it. If you're gonna give me the silent treatment and not even give, I don't even know why you why you giving me the silent treatment. Just go somewhere, man. Just go somewhere. Uh, being inconsiderate. It's a toxic trait of uh, uh, that that I see in people. It's a toxic trait that I see in people that I don't like. People who are inconsiderate. Oh, I can't stand it. If you're not going to be inconsiderate to others. If you're not going to be, if you're going to be, sorry, if you're going to be inconsiderate to others, if you're going to be inconsiderate to me and how your behavior is impacting me and not care about it, that's being inconsiderate. If you're going to be inconsiderate to others, go, your story is always about you. When I do all right, eh? when I, you will consider yourself but not consider the next person, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I'm, 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 I'm cool. As somebody who considers others, that is the one thing that I pick up very quickly in people. If you are not considerate to other people, Shem, we can't be friends. Sorry. Yes. People who love to throw pity parties, yo, just go somewhere with that. Go somewhere with your intention of throwing pity parties. I couldn't care less. 
I couldn't care less. I don't want to know about it. You're going to throw a pity party, go through it over there. Go through it there. Hunt at the Adi. Maybe that the Adi is going to entertain you. Well, I understand that, Linda. Maybe that the Adi is going to entertain you. I'm not going to entertain your pity party. If I'm not somebody who throws pity parties for myself, I'm not going to entertain pity parties in somebody else. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. People who love to be in control of everything. Where we go, what we do, when we do it, how we do it, with whom, where we eat. You want to control everything. I get it. Like, you want to be the Beyonce of your own story, bro. Like, I get that. You're not going to do it with me. <laughs> You're not going to be a Beyonce of here, this year story. N not going to fly. Not going to fly. Not with me. No, no. When I was a controller, when I got Gold Reef City, which ride we're going to go on, go Gold Reef City, whether we're going to eat here, whether we're going to go out on this day, if you don't want to do it, we're not going to do it. Bye. Why would you do such a thing? It's inconsiderate. I'm going to go back to some of yours. Let's go back to some of yours. That's crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm always ready to walk out of situations. My toxic trait is I'm always ready to walk out of situations, even if it's in a joking manner. Who is your Popeye here? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> who? 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 I, do I look like a circus to you? Even if it's in a joking manner, if you're going to say, I, know, yeah, I think we should break up, hambage. You're not going to be ready to always walk out of situations. Do you walk out of your job? Do you walk out? No. So how is it okay for you to every single time you're in a fight or a disagreement with somebody, now you got to come back and be like, yeah, no, you know what? Actually, now that we're here, I think it's best we break up. <sighs> what? Don't test me. Don't test me. I will reward you with that breakup. If you are going to say to me, or I think we should break up, when you're always ready, just ready to walk out of a situation, to walk out of a fight, catch me several streets outside. Even if it's in a joking manner. You joking with my heart, girl? You joking with my heart? I'm a clown to you? I'm a circus? Give me the gas, Kamu. Okay. Oh. Yeah, she goes on to say, bro, I think we should break up. Then... This lady says, I'm simple but specific. Her toxic trait. I'm simple but specific. I ain't willing to try new things. I like what I like. I have no reason to form relations with people I have nothing in common with. Sorry. <laughs> she's got quite a few <laughs> oh, hang on she's simple but she's specific she's not willing to try so you're not even gonna try an oyster with me oyster you're not even gonna try an oyster with me because whenever you like what you like okay it's fine I mean I get it but yeah it could be a little bit of a toxic trait I mean I get it I have no reason to form relations with people I have nothing in common with. Oh, but that's, that's real, man. Like, I get that. I get that. Okay, fine. I'll give you that. <laughs> I'll give you that. I love saving. She goes on to say, I love saving money, but I speak out loud on what I want. So my sister and partner can buy it for me. So you're stinch. <laughs> so you're stinch. So you're frugal with money when it comes to saving it for yourself so that you can pile up the number in your bank account. But, but you like nice things. Huh? So stingy when you're frugal and you're stingy. Even with yourself could never be me, girl. That is a, that is a, <laughs> she, she goes on to send a laughing emoji because she can see she clowning about. So now it must be up to your sister. 
and your partner to buy it for you. Usega, you win. <laughs> but I get it. Smart, smart, smart. Marcel, Marcel, Marcel. Okay. This lady says, I'll mirror your energy. If you call, I call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you text, I text. Yeah. If you act like you don't care, I'll also act the same. But do unto others as you would like. This is not even a toxic trait. This is healthy. Then you can... It makes sense! I just genuinely feel like this is not even a toxic trait, bro. This is not even a toxic trait. This is healthy. You call, I call. You put in the effort, I put in the effort. You text, I text. Hear me out. You know, you put in the initiative, sharp. You want to hang out, I'll initiate it too. You initiate it, I got you. Give as well as you are willing to take and vice versa. I hear the chat, dog. This is not even a toxic trait. This is healthy. Ah, this is healthy. I'm not even going to lie. Here we go. On, On YouTube, we heard, hey, cat, my toxic trait is leaving any situation whenever I feel like it. Hey, there's a lot of you guys. Hey, I feel like it's not going. Okay. My toxic trait is leaving a situation whenever I feel like it. And if it's not going my way or just doesn't rock my boat, I'm a leave Hashem. I'll go right. I'll go right. But I'll go right. Hi, <laughs> cat. My toxic trait. Hey, girl. My toxic trait is withdrawing myself from people that wronged me. That's healthy. Depends. Look, I suppose with everything, it depends. You know, if somebody wronged you and it's a small little thing and you withdraw yourself, withdrawing is self-preservation. I hear it. I hear that. I, I, I genuinely don't even think it's a toxic trait, bro. I think it's, it's healthy. Yeah, yeah, but if you can see that this person is playing on top of your herd like this, it's okay to withdraw yourself. I think that's healthy. Mm-hmm. I think I'm vengeful. Uh, there's a couple of people that I know that are like you. Slam pillow. I think that I'm vengeful. An eye for an eye is what I believe in. Usile way. Now why? But no, but no, no, no. I'm not gonna, I'm calling you out. That's wrong. That's wrong. The amount of bad things. I've done to people in my head. Okay, okay, okay. If it's in your head, it's fine. <laughs> if it's in your head, it's fine, girl. Unfortunately, I can't act those things out because I don't want to go to prison. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Smart. But there are people who are quite vengeful. And there are people who will just be mean just to prove a point. There are people who will be hurtful just to prove a point. There are people who will watch you come undone and, and laugh and, and be happy with that just to prove a point. There are people who are just not nice. And that's, that's not nice. That's not nice. Change your ways. Come back to God. No, come back to God. Absolutely not. Arrogant people, toxic traits. People who seem to think that they have it all figured out. You know those arrogant people that won't be told otherwise? It's a toxic trait, that thing. You don't have it all figured out. No one has it all figured out. So, who are you trying to swank for? <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe. We're trying to get the channel to 40,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We only have a couple of months to go. And it's literally, literally just under 4,000 people. So please, if you did enjoy this video, do subscribe. And don't unsubscribe. Just ignore the videos then. If you don't want to... Ah, Luna. Anyway, thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. Subscribe. Let's get the channel to over 40,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I genuinely really would appreciate that. Thank you for choosing me as always. Join the membership space if you feel like it. Watch the ads. I hope you guys have watched the ads. Thank you so much as always. I will see you in the next video. Until then, sayonara. You only see Lenina. so good.